Hey, it's Zion Prepper here, and I'm going to do something that I don't have an experience in, but it's a skill I definitely need, so I'm going to do it, and that's build a fire piston. And a fire piston, uh, very similar to the piston on your car, uh, will, will create downward pressure when you push it down to create a spark onto something like a char cloth so you could get a fire started. So the material that you need is a copper tubing, which is right here, and I bought a longer piece, I don't need it all. Uh, you need the end cap, the copper end cap, which is right there. You need a wooden pistol rod, oh, sorry, wooden piston rod, which is right here. We'll be using that as well. Um, you also need a knob. I'm going to have to bore that out a little bit to make a knob for our piston. And then you need a gasket here. And I just made sure that that gasket, gasket actually fit over this here. So uh, I'm probably going to have to speed through the video because there are a number of steps, but the fact of the matter is um, if you would like to make one of these, I can definitely give you instructions. Uh, just send me an email. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, now I need to measure four inches of copper pipe, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it with a pipe cutter. And then once I cut it, I need to use a Dremel to make a bevel in the end of the copper pipe, so take a look. Okay, now I'm going to cut my wooden dowel to about an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch larger than the copper pipe. From there, I'm going to take that dowel rod and put it in a drill and get a square file, and you'll see why. We're going to put a bevel on one end of that dowel. Okay, now you can see what it looks like with that groove in there. Now I'm going to clean it up a little bit because you got to make sure that when you put that O-ring on there that you get a nice tight fit within your copper tubing, uh, the pipe, because you want to get compression. I said square file earlier. I used a triangular file, as you can see there. And once again, I'm just really cleaning that up so it's a nice groove. And then uh, when we're done here, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like, and you can see on the end what I did is I took a small drill, drilled a pilot hole, took a bigger drill, and I made a cavity. That cavity is going to be used to put char cloth in, and char cloth is the material that will be used to catch fire under high compression in the fire piston. I used super glue on the end of the pine uh, dowel rod, and the reason I did is because uh, pine is pretty porous. Uh, has a low density and I need to get the best compression possible what the super glue will do is is it will um, actually seal that pine to make sure that there's no air flowing through when you actually compress it down now here what I need to do is I need to put a a handle or a knob on the end to actually allow me to, to do the compression and I'm gonna do a quick job here and I'm just gonna put a screw on the end and what I'll do is I'll go back later and make it look nice but right now I'm just looking for functionality so I just put a quick screw through there alright so we've got that done now the next thing we need to do is take our char cloth and you can see I'm taking just a very very small amount so you really gotta be good at building fires because you don't have a whole lot of char cloth to work with and I'm just what I did is I tried it a bunch of different ways and I put it made it into a ball and then uh, put it in the end of the dowel rod and then what I'm gonna do here what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to actually I'm just showing you huh there it is there's a char cloth and there's the o-ring on the end got compression I'm gonna put my copper tubing on top and here we go I'm gonna give it really a quick jab and that wasn't hard enough that wasn't hard enough and as you can see it took me many 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 times off camera to get this to go but I eventually did get it to go pull it out and there's a char cloth that actually did catch a spark or did heat up enough to uh, create a spark and uh, it took me a long time but it was a lot of fun